Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Very good. My name is Apostle Cedric. And I bring you an amazing prophetic word in Jesus' name. This is your real weakness. This is your real weakness. You see, oftentimes, many of us get to a level called self-righteousness. And we don't even realize that we are in the dimension called self-righteousness. And one of the things that God hates is self-righteousness. We saw the parable of two people who were praying. One was saying, Lord, you know, I'm not like that sinner. I pay my tithe, I pray, and I fast. Why the sinner could not even look at the altar. He said, Lord, have mercy, I'm a sinner. The Bible says that this man is close to God than that man. The word this is closeness. That is distance. So in the sight of God, the one that acknowledged he's a sinner was considered, but the one that was self-righteous because that, that week he lived righteous was sent far. You see, self-righteousness is like people feeling qualified only when they have done what they think is right. And this even determines their prayer fire, their worship life. There are Christians who think they can only preach because that week they were very moral. They were very fine. This is no way to underestimate the effect of being a moral person. But you see, the Bible says that our righteousness is like a filthy rag before the Lord. Your real weakness is not your weakness, but it's thinking that because of your weakness, you are weak. And because of your strength, you are strong. The strongest man on earth is the one who depends on the strength of God, not on his strength. When you are at your strongest point, the Lord says you are nothing better than a filthy rag. It means that the strongest of men is not even qualified to be used by the Lord. So if God should equate us by physical strength, none of us is qualified for the use of the Spirit. Are we together at all? It's very important that you put these clear boundaries. The Lord does not hate you because of what you did. Rather, he can hate you because you think that what you did is stronger than what he did for you. There are people who flow with God based on how they feel per time. There are people who think that God hates them because they hate what they did. And God is saying, come to me, all of you who are weary, and I'll heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. You will never be righteous enough to be qualified for the love of Jesus. That's why you depend on his righteousness, not yours. Morality is not spirituality, but spirituality will make you moral. God bless you.